Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Buyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W32C of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. Uh, and in this video, I'm just going to be building a smooth stone generator. Uh, this is a l uh, slight variant of what you might consider the classic four lava source block uh, piston driven stone generator. Um, and so uh, it's really just something I use uh, after, I, after I find a couple of villagers uh, to start breeding. If I want to do builds of any sort of size at all, uh, I'm going to start with something like this. Um, this generator is going to be slightly faster than the classic four lava source block generator. Um, but I should note uh, from the start that there are stone generators that are much, much faster than this, um, that, are, uh, that require a much more complex build. Uh, this is something that I, I just build uh, pretty soon after I start a new world, uh, so um, uh, it's not too resource intens intensive. Uh, these are all the materials I'm going to need for the build. Uh, I've got 75 non-flammable blocks, uh, eight blocks of stone that I'm going to start, uh, then I'm going to stock it with the start. A um, few signs, a torch, uh, torch is optional. Uh, some redstone components, including uh, five uh, regular pistons and a sticky piston, uh, an infinite water source, and uh, four lava source blocks. Uh, that will be for the generator itself. Uh, for the collection point, I've got some hoppers and some chests. Not all of this is required. I uh, really only need a single hopper, but if you want to uh, use this for any length of time, uh, you're going to need uh, at least one chest. Uh, and So I'm going to build out a, a small collection point for this. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by noting where it was, uh, where it is that I want my uh, my stone to come down. So I'm going to build the generator uh, a couple of blocks off the ground, and the stone is going to be pushed down here. Uh, so I want it to come right down here. So I'm going to build up two blocks, and from that center block, I'm going to build out three in each direction. And then I'm going to fill this in to form kind of a diamond shape. And uh, punch out the hole, and that's going to be uh, the beginning of my platform here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get my pistons. And on the uh, end block, on the tip of each uh, point of the diamond here, I'm going to place a regular piston uh, inward. And before I forget, um, because uh, when I build this thing in practice, I, I often forget, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some immovable blocks uh, on the back side of each one of these four pistons. Uh, you can do this later. I'm just going to do it right away so I don't forget. Uh, because if you forget and you start up this machine, uh, it's kind of a pain. Uh, so I'm just going to do it right away. Uh, now, a lot of people will use furnaces for this. Uh, I prefer to use signs because signs also can't be pushed by pistons, and uh, just the way I, I just like the way it looks better. So, but you can use any kind of immovable block uh, like furnaces. Uh, I'm just using signs. So, uh, got those uh, uh, got those on the back of the pistons, and now I'm going to place a block on each side of each of these four pistons. just like that. And now in this corner, I also want to build up, uh, put a block there, so I'm creating a, an enclosed space here. Okay, just like that. Uh, now I'm going to take my stone and from each piston towards the center, I'm going to place two blocks of stone. Uh, so I leave the opening here. Um, but um, uh, I've got stone all the way to the pistons. Now, this, all of these blocks here are going to get pushed out of the generator, uh, which is why they are stone. It's just that they are not necessarily pushed out first, uh, so they can sift around up here a little bit uh, for a little while, uh, and I would rather uh, not have any surprises as to what comes out of the generator, so I'm going to use uh, what I expect to come out of the generator to stock it with, so that's why I'm using stone here. Uh, okay, now I've got the stone in place. Uh, go ahead and uh, get some water ready. Uh, fill all of these uh, little reservoirs with water. Now, you really only need uh, this, uh, this block and this block to be water. Uh, this block here could be filled, but it really doesn't, uh, doesn't make sense to build it, uh, to fill it. Um, but I do need water in these two corners. 
I could just place one bucket of water right here in the corner, um, but then I have to deal with the sound of flowing water. Uh, and so I just uh, go ahead and, uh, and put lo uh, water source blocks uh, everywhere inside these reservoirs here. Uh, okay, once the water is in place, uh, go ahead and cover up each one of the water reservoirs. Okay, and then cover up each one of the pistons. And then build up the hole by another block. Okay, there we go. Um, that's good. Uh, now it's time to get out my repeaters. Okay. Now on each one of these outer holes here, so this is where the stone is going to uh, come down. Each one of these outer holes is going to hold uh, one of my lava source blocks. Um, uh, but uh, I'll put those in in just a minute. First, I want to put in the repeaters. Uh, uh, on uh, one side of the hole, I want to put a one tick repeater. And in the same direction, on the other side of the hole, I want to put a two tick repeater. So there's one ticks and uh, one tick and two ticks. And I want to do that for each one of these holes. So there's one tick and two ticks, one tick and two ticks, and one tick and two ticks. Um, now that I've got all of the uh, repeaters in place, I'm going to go ahead and put the lava in into each one of these holes. And now I, I want to cover that up. So I'm holding the uh, sneak control uh, against the edge of the repeater, being careful not to destroy the lava source block. Uh, if you hold the sneak control against the edge of the repeater, uh, you can place the block directly over the uh, lava source block. And I'm also going to place blocks in each corner. So now I have something that looks like that. Uh, time to uh, add some redstone here. Now the block that is over a lava source block, uh, what you want to do is put a line of redstone wire uh, uh, over that and on either side. And I want to do that on all four of these blocks here. There we go. Uh, so I've uh, got my, uh, a lot of redstone in place there. And now I want to place uh, one last block uh, right in the middle here. Not, uh, not here. I don't want to place it there. I want to place it against the edge of one of these redstone wires uh, so that it appears up on top there. And go ahead and place the torch on top of that. Uh, that single torch will light every surface up here to a light level of 8 or greater, uh, including the blocks down here. Uh, so you don't have to worry about mobs spawning anywhere on top of this. Um, if you've got other means of lighting it, you don't have to have the torch there. But um, uh, if you, like I do, you just build this outdoors somewhere, uh, that's a convenient place to put it. All right, uh, I still have one more piston to put in. I'm going to come in here, uh, look up uh, to the top of the hole here. There's that block that I just placed with the torch on top. And I want to place a downward facing piston right there. Okay. Uh, now that I've uh, got the uh, whole generator built, I want to add a little bit of a collection point. I am going to uh, add, uh, add some chests here, uh, some hoppers. Um, I need a hopper directly underneath where the stone comes out. Uh, so I, I need a hopper on this spot right here. I, I'm going to put that in a moment. First, I want to create a little bit of a trench. And I'm going to place uh, hoppers going to the side. And I'm going to place my chests down here. So I've got all of these hoppers going over to this direction here. And I'm going to use the standard alternating trap chests and uh, regular chests trick. So there's a trapped double chest and a regular uh, double chest and a trapped double chest and a regular double chest. Uh, and now over here, I want to place a uh, hopper going down into that hopper right there. And then hoppers just all the way across. Uh, and my stone is going to come down here, uh, and I'm going to be able to mine it uh, at this point right here, and then we'll just fill up all of these chests as I go along. Now, the only thing that uh, remains to do in order to uh, get this started is to uh, start the clock up here. Uh, this up here is a 12 redstone tick repeater loop. Um, I mentioned that this uh, generator is a little bit faster than kind of the standard uh, build. 
Um, that's because the standard build is uh, 16 redstone ticks. Um, 12 redstone ticks is really kind of pushing the boundaries of uh, certain timings. Uh, and so if this tends not to work for you, uh, just increase these one tick repeaters to two ticks. Uh, and that will turn it into a 16 tick uh, repeater loop and that should be fine. But um, 12 redstone tick, uh, ticks for this repeater loop seems to work pretty well for me and it's a bit faster so uh, that's why I prefer it. Uh, but I've got to get this clock started. Um, so uh, coming down here, here's my collection point. Uh, I'm going to stand right here. Uh, X marks the spot so I'm going to stand right there. Uh, over here on the other side, uh, I'm going to be placing some blocks in order to uh, get this started. So first I'm going to place a block up here, and then a block right there, and a block right there. Uh, now up here on top of that first block that I placed, uh, I'm going to uh, put a dot of redstone. And then I'm going to put a redstone torch right here, uh, but I'm going to put another redstone torch right here first. And so when I put a redstone torch right here, it will shut off because the, the block on which it's placed is being powered by this redstone torch. Uh, but it won't be shut off for one redstone tick, so this dot of redstone will be powered for one tick, which will start the, uh, the repeater loop. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. There we go. We can now see that this is going, and in fact, it is generating stone. So that's, uh, that's nice. It's pretty fast. Uh, the problem is that I can't actually shut this off. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to build out just a little bit of extra stuff in order to uh, add an on-off switch for this. It's usually not too much of a problem. The um, uh, the clock is so fast. Uh, that the stone generates uh, in order uh, uh, faster than the pistons can basically push it, uh, or, or rather the, the pistons are retracting uh, fast enough for the, for the stone to generate. And so what happens is the pistons basically lock up and they stop pushing things, which turns off the noise because all this redstone wire and repeaters are silent. Um, so right now you wouldn't be able to hear anything anyway because the machine is filled up with stone that can't come down. Uh, but I do like to be able to shut off these machines anyway. And uh, if you have the 16 tick repeater loop version of this, uh, it can often continue running. The pistons can continue pushing stone around inside for a significant amount of time. Uh, which is which is just generally noisy. So uh, it's good to have something with which I can shut this off. So I'm going to go ahead and build that. Uh, I'm going to start first by turning off the clock uh, by breaking this block here. So uh, I've got my uh, my little redstone torches here that turned on the clock over here, and I'm going to turn it off right here. Go ahead and break that block, and I'm going to break this block, and I'm going to break the block underneath the, uh, that as well. Now this block here is holding water inside, so when I break it, it's going to be it's going to create kind of a water mess. So I'd, I'd just be prepared for that. Uh, and what I'm going to do there is I'm going to place uh, a sticky piston facing upward. Okay. Uh, now I go ahead and place a uh, a block underneath that right here, so it looks something like that. And then go ahead and break the block underneath the piston over here, <coughs> the sticky piston, and <coughs> excuse me, the corresponding block over here. And I'm going to break those two blocks, and I'm going to place them right down here. Now I need one more uh, repeater right here. This repeater needs to be on three ticks. So there's two, three ticks, uh, and a couple more redstone torches. One here, and one here. And now I need a short redstone wire uh, going from here to here. And on the other side of this block, I'm going to place a lever right there. Now, normal Minecraft levers, are uh, uh, up means off and down means on. Uh, this one, however, is inverted. So up means on and down means off. So uh, now I've shut this off. Uh, basically, when this block is powered, uh, this block up here will receive a one tick pulse. So all of this uh, here is basically a pulse limiter. Uh, almost done. I just need to pace, place a redstone torch uh, underneath the, uh, the sticky piston right there. 
uh, and I need to replace the block that I removed from on top of that piston. And that's it. Uh, we're all set to go. Uh, if I turn this machine on now, the piston pushes up this block to allow the circuit to complete. At the same time, uh, this block here receives a one tick pulse uh, that starts the clock. And when I turn the lever off, uh, the block retracts, breaking the circuit and shutting the clock off. So a uh, nice little simple on off switch. Uh, you can see that stone isn't going to be uh, coming down anymore because the pistons aren't receiving a redstone signal. But turn things back on and there we go. So this again is pretty fast. Um, uh, slightly faster than the, the typical uh, or say the standard uh, for lava block stone generator. Uh, I like this one. It's nice and compact and, uh, and relatively resource friendly so uh, I can build it pretty early game. So uh, That is it then for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions please leave a note in the comments and thank you very much for watching.